why doesn't india have any university such as mit stanford or harvard which are in the top 10 of the world even the iits of india are not in the top 100 so what is the difference between mit which is the number 1 university in the entire world and iits i graduated from iit madras in the field of mechanical engineering in 2017 and uh, then i completed my uh, phd from mit so i did a phd at mit which is the world's number 1 university for a period of 5 years after which i returned back to india in this video i am going to tell you the four reasons as to why india doesn't have any university like mit which is in the top 100 of the world i have attended both iit and mit so you can trust me when you watch this video the first thing is the students at mit when i was doing my phd and when i looked at students around me everyone was extremely passionate about the field which they were studying and i could see the passion in their faces whenever a lecture started everyone was so passionate that the lecture is going to start there was not a single student who slept in the class whereas if i compare that to my time at iit madras half of the students were interested that is good but the remaining half were not interested at all it was like they have lost all their fire to study in fact it was a common sight to see many students just sleeping in the class the professor was teaching and half of the students were sleeping in the back when i used to see this i also used to feel demotivated so if the fire is really not there or if the fire itself is missing from the students then how do you expect the universities to be great the second reason which i want to talk about is professors professors at universities like mit and stanford have to go through a system which is called as the tenure track this system means that unless you are publishing very high quality research unless you are performing high quality teaching your job can be taken away from you at any time this means that professors can actually be fired for not performing good research when i visited my iit madras campus 6 years after graduating i was really shocked to see that there are some professors who are still teaching these professors did not do good quality research these professors did not teach well so why weren't these professors fired why don't all the universities in india have a tenure track system which fires professors if they are not doing good research or if their research publications are not up to the mark why is there so much job security for professors i never heard about an indian iit madras professor being fired not for doing good research if we have systems in place to make sure that professors are doing the best research the quality of research coming from the university will also improve of course there are so many professors who are doing a great job who are really passionate about improving and impacting the education system but there are many more who are not like that and we should have a system in place so that the professors who are not passionate can be removed from the job the third thing what i want to talk about is the diversity of students when i was at mit you would not believe it but it was very common for me to have interactions with students one of whom was a solar panel expert one of whom was a travel enthusiast one of whom was a business owner who had recently started his own company one of whom was a musician and she was one of the best musicians in the world this made the peer group at mit one of the best in the entire world i cannot say the same about my peer group at iit and this again comes back to the first point students go through a very difficult entrance examination which is iit je 
so when they actually come to the university it is like they have lost all their fire and passion so all they want to do is relax so the peer group is not as great as mit so if the peer group is not as great then how do you expect the university to be great and how do you expect the university to be in the world's top 10 this can really be due to a broken engineering entrance examination system students study for so many hours they study for 2 to 3 years maybe 8 to 10 hours a day to crack the iit entrance exam does anyone stop to think what effect does it have on the students when they actually enter the college i saw it for myself that students felt so pressurized while studying that when they came to college they just wanted to let go and enjoy as a result this was the reason they were not passionate about the field which they had chosen the fourth reason which i want to talk about is funding in world's best universities like mit and stanford if you are working in a lab and if the instrument or if the apparatus gets broken it is immediately replaced every lab has a huge amount of funding however in indian labs if a laser is broken or if in a research lab some other equipment is broken it takes a long amount of time to order it and then it takes a long amount of time to again do the experiments with it this is because labs in iit madras and other uh, universities in india do not receive that much funding as much as universities like mit and stanford receive if we want to nurture the best universities in the world we really should give a lot more funding to the best colleges in india so that the highest quality research output is generated from these colleges it is very essential that government diverts more funds into these colleges so that the research quality is not compromised again summarizing the four reasons first is the students second is the professors third is the diversity or the peer group and fourth is the funding in itself to these universities finally i i want to point out that there is not one single thing at fault here of course professors may say that students themselves are not motivated so how can professors receive the motivation to teach but there are some systemic level changes which we should really implement to make sure that we have universities which are the best in the world some of these changes can be introduction of the tenure track system for professors which makes them accountable second can be selection of the branch according to our choice and not based on our rank so when i got admitted to iit madras i chose mechanical engineering because i could get that for the rank which i got but what if i was interested in some other field why don't we allow students to choose their branch based on their interests this is exactly what is done in universities like mit when a student enters mit in their first year they can explore whatever is there in the university for one year and then they can choose their branch this actually makes sure that students are interested in the field which they have selected and if students remain interested they are passionate they will attend lectures they will do research with professors they will increase the research output of the university and that will improve the rankings of the university so we can possibly introduce a tenure track system uh, we can possibly have a branch selection which is not based on rank uh, we can increase international collaborations to increase student diversity on campus and the final thing which we can do is increased private public funding to universities so that the research quality is not compromised and so that talent also stays back in india if the stipend of phd scholars and master scholars is increased then students won't go abroad to pursue masters and phd there is this brain drain so the best students from iits are going abroad uh to prevent that what if we increase the stipend which is given to phd and ms scholars and how can we increase it if the funding to these universities itself increase 
so these are some of the reasons because of which i think indian universities are not there in the world's top 10 but if we implement some changes and if there are people who are working hard to implement these changes we can really make sure that indian universities are among the top 10 of the entire world me along with dr rajat and dr shridat who are the founders of vijwara we have come back to india now after completing our phd's in the us and our singular purpose is to completely transform the indian education system so please support us in this journey we have started this channel called vijwara if you would like to receive videos like these in which we talk about the indian education system several ways in which we can contribute why we came back from the us to india why the american dream is not like it used to before please subscribe and like this video thank you